Hey guys, just got done quenching Pat's blade uh, a few short moments ago. Uh, ended up wiping it down, giving the file test, and throwing it directly into the tempering oven uh, where it's cooking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I'm going to let that cook for about an hour and a half altogether for the first cycle, pull it back out, cool it to room temperature, and then stick it back in for another hour or so uh, for the second and final cycle. Uh, then we'll be ready to clean it up, put an edge on it, and do some testing, make sure our results are satisfactory. Uh, so far, all indications point to a successful quench. Uh, things were pretty much uneventful, which I'm happy to say. Uh, there were no flashes or flare-ups, no fires of any kind. And uh, what I ended up doing, I'll use my uh, template as an example. Uh, pulled the blade directly out of the oven, uh, plunged it in tip first, and then uh, agitated it back and forth across the uh, from spine to edge. You never want to go uh, this way, as you could cause uneven cooling, uh, and your blades will tend to warp or twist a lot more easily. Uh, but the blade came out uh, as straight as it did going in. Uh, didn't seem to be any warping, twisting, cracking of any kind. Uh, very happy to report that. Uh, ended up wiping it down and running a file across it in various parts of the knife. Uh, and it seemed completely hardened uh, everywhere that I tested. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, like I said, it went directly into tempering. So uh, that should be done a little bit later tonight. Uh, and then maybe in the next day or two we'll be ready to uh, get that cleaned up and uh, put an edge on it. Uh, I will say that this stuff definitely stinks a lot more than vegetable oil. Uh, it does smell like burning oil, of course. Uh, it's almost a little bit overwhelming at first. I did have to open a door, uh, kind of get some fresh air in here. Uh, somewhat of a sacrifice, I guess, uh, overusing vegetable oil, but I think the uh, benefits that you gain from it is definitely worth that sacrifice. Uh, I'll probably get a fan or some kind of circulation system in here in the near future, though, uh, just to help mitigate that a little bit more. Uh, as far as the oil itself, it did tend to change a little bit of color uh, from when I started. It's no longer a light, ambery color. Uh, it's quite a bit darker, but I still can see through to the bottom. Uh, so it still is somewhat transparent. And uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way, if that's normal. Uh, but we'll see how well it works in the next quench. But uh, that's pretty much the report. On my first quench, uh, it did seem to go successfully. I'm definitely excited to see how the edge holds up uh, after these tempering processes and after I get that uh, finished up to that extent. Uh, all indications point to a success though and uh, shouldn't be any problems from here on out. Knock on wood. Uh, definitely looking forward to getting this knife finished and sent out to Pat. So uh, while I'm waiting for that blade to finish tempering, I think I'm going to clean things up a little bit here, maybe start on some other projects, get some other work done, and try to pass the time until that oven's ready to shut off. Uh, then we'll go ahead and call it a night. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, as always, feel free to rate, comment, and or subscribe if you've not already. Uh, there are plenty more videos to come related to knife making and otherwise, so please stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.